Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. Now, before we get started, I wanted to call attention to the game on your screen. It is an interesting little survival game that goes by the name Distrust. Now, I don't normally like survival games, but I have to admit, I definitely found this one to my liking. It was inspired by a very old horror movie called The Thing, which I recall being one of the first horror movies to ever give me nightmares when I was a little kid. I may actually do a review on it at some point, but regardless, I thought it deserved being mentioned. That said, it would seem that within the games industry there are pitfalls everywhere, and those who would take advantage of the unwary are legion. Scams run rampant, and the predations that result from those with nefarious intent are not limited to consumers being affected. Indie developers, many of whom are guilty of nothing more than wanting to follow their passions and create something that others will enjoy, are being targeted right along with their customers. And the particular avenue of scams that we're going to be focusing on is one that is near and dear to my own heart because it is an affront to my occupation here on YouTube as a games critic and pundit. And that is the scam that is the fake review. In particular, the site Pixel Patriots has been exceptionally naughty, outright plagiarizing reviews from a variety of sources. This site has been mentioned to me a couple of times over the recent weeks, but three different people directed me to the YouTuber Mr. Wooden Sheep over the past day or two, who is himself a games critic. And Mr. Wooden Sheep produced a video in which he discusses Pixel Patriots directly plagiarizing both several of his reviews and others from the Steam storefront and from other third-party sites. Now, in multiple reviews, it would seem that Pixel Patriots have completely plagiarized their content, only adding a word here or there to keep them from being 100% identical, like in these reviews for Intercosmos VR. You start off the game in a space shuttle with a lengthy tutorial that will teach you what every single button and switch does. You might feel overwhelmed at first, but you will learn it as time goes on, and when you do, it will feel very satisfying hearing your oxygen is low and then your hand automatically snaps to the right lever to let in some oxygen, while at the same time depressurizing the cabin so you don't die is a very cool feeling. Now it is worth noting that Wooden Sheep's review of the game was released on the 25th of April, while Pixel Patriot's copy-paste of his review occurred on the 21st of August. Now I know that many of you will not care, but at the same time there will be a small subsection of people that will ask the question, what if Wooden Sheep's the one plagiarizing reviews, not the other way around? Now, another example of plagiarism again involves Mr. Wooden Sheep's written review of Nidhogg 2, in which, in his written review, Mr. Wooden Sheep wrote the following on August 15th. I'll start off by saying that if you enjoyed Nidhogg 1 and are looking for more of the same, then Nidhogg 2 is that game. Although it brings a few new weapons, maps, and customization options, the game doesn't feel that different, which can be a good or bad thing depending on your opinion. And in the Pixel Patriot review on August 20th, the exact same review is shown except they decided to add the words, only better. Now we could go into example after example, but suffice to say the entirety of the information on the Pixel Patriot site is plagiarized from legitimate critics and other sites. Even their mission statement is a direct rip from a site called GamerPros.co, with the only changes being made being the company and the personal names listed. And as insulting as this is, sites like Pixel Patriot are actually damaging to the industry for a variety of reasons. Now, the first and foremost being that these sites are posting the content that they do in order to dupe unsuspecting developers into believing that they have a claim to legitimacy that is in fact nothing more than a facade. They do this in order to attempt to obtain keys from these developers in small batches all the way up to hundreds or even thousands of keys. Now, some sites do this in order to obtain small number of keys from a large quantity of smaller developers. They will in turn post a quote review on their site, which is the standard operation for the industry in regards to review code. Developers are able to generate a number of free keys for their games for promotional giveaways and for critics. It is standard industry practice that if you want a critic to review your game, you don't expect them to buy your game to review it. It is an expenditure of doing business, which is very common. Except what these sites do is they will take those keys and then sell them for profit on sites like G2A or Kinguin, sometimes merely copy-pasting a review to their site with stock pictures if they even bothered to post anything at all. Other times, the sites will offer to help promote the games in order to supposedly help the developer out. They then obtain hundreds or even thousands of keys to be given away, which are again sold on the gray market or used to fuel Steam trading card bot farms, depending on the individual scammer's practices. 
Now, either way, what these sites are doing with the keys obtained is, for all intents and purposes, theft, considering they are not making use of the game keys for their intended purpose. This, of course, will harm the developers as every key sold on the gray market is a potential legitimate sale that wasn't made. And this isn't only bad for developers, but the actions of these sites are bad for everyone, consumers included. You see, these sites do turn up in search results no matter if they're legitimate or not, and their copy-pasted reviews have the potential to reach a point where it will begin drowning out smaller critics, much the same way asset flips drown out new startup indie devs. They create so much noise that they will make it more difficult to get factual information into the hands of the consumer. Also, I'm sure some will be asking themselves or asking their computer monitors why that should matter. Because even a copy-pasted review is still someone's review, simply duplicated, and yes, you would be correct. Except that there is not even any kind of guarantee that the plagiarized review was even for the game in question. You see, these sites don't have to even rip off a review of the game they're supposedly reviewing. They can simply grab one close to hand, change a few names, and then done. So that will erode trust in smaller sites and critics, which again makes it harder for them to gain visibility, and it makes it much more difficult for the critic to get factual information into the hands of the consumers, and it makes it harder for consumers to get a hold of that factual information that will allow them to make an informed purchase. Reviews are necessary within the industry. Not only are they necessary, but they are vital from a consumer standpoint. Without them, people would be forced to rely on whatever the developers and publishers decided to spew out by way of information, and if you actually feel you can trust games publishers, then I really do wish I could live in that perfect little world that you somehow found yourself in. Now, reviews and critique make the industry better by helping to keep the industry at least more honest than it otherwise would be. But sites like these undermine that, while at the same time directly taking money out of indie developers' pockets. They are literally a scourge, a blight upon the internet as are those that make use of them to scam people. Plagiarism is theft, as are duping some indie developers out there of review code just so you can turn around and sell it on sites like G2A, which are in and of themselves another blight on this industry. But as always, please do let me know what you think down in the comments below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.